Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a problem based on suspension cables. Let us read the question one time. A suspension cable is suspended between two supports at a distance of 20 meter. So the total span is 20 meter and loaded as shown in the figure. There are four concentrated loads. The distance to and from all of the loads is 4 meter. Calculate reactions, tensions in each segment of the cable and length of the cable. If level difference between A and B is 4 meter, you can see that the level difference between A and B is 4 meter. Dip under 32 kN load is 18.4 meter. The dip under 32 kN load is 18.4 meter. Calculate the dips in other points. So we have to find YC, YD and YF. In this problem, first we are going to find the horizontal thrust. Let us keep this point as G. Let us consider AG as a simply supported beam. And let us keep RA as the vertical reaction in the point A. Now let us take moment about G and find RA. RA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 20. So 20 RA. This load is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 16. This load is also acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it is negative and the distance is 12. This load is acting in the anticlockwise direction so it is also negative and the distance is 8. Finally, this load is also acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it is also negative and the distance is 4. After doing the calculation for the beam AG, we will get the vertical reaction Ra as 43.2 kN. We know that Y is equal to B moment upon horizontal thrust H. In the point E, we know the value of Y which is 18.4. In the point E, let us find the B moment. 43.2 is acting in the clockwise direction. So that it will be positive and the distance is 12. This load is acting in the anticlockwise direction. So that it will be negative and the distance is 8. This load is acting in the anticlockwise direction. So that it is also negative and the distance is 4. Let us take this on the right side. So it will come in the denominator. And let us take H on the left side. So it will come in the numerator. Finally, for H, we will get 16 kN. We have found the horizontal thrust H. Using that, we can find the dips YC, YD and YF. First, let us find the dip YF. Let us find the B moment. The vertical reaction is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 16. This load is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 12. This load is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 8. This load is also acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it is also negative and the distance is 4. We know the value of horizontal thrust 16. Finally, for YF, we will get 12.2 meter. Now, let us find the dip YD. Let us find the B moment. Vertical reaction VA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 8. This load is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 4. Finally, for YD, we will get 16.6 meter. Now let us find YC. Let us find the B moment. The reaction is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 4. Finally for YC we will get 10.8 meter. 
we have found all of the dips and the horizontal thrust now we are going to find the vertical reactions VA and VB first let us find VA for that I am going to take movement about B previously we have taken movement about this point the same procedure should be followed but additionally we have to take the horizontal thrust the horizontal thrust is acting in the clockwise direction to the point B this is the perpendicular distance for the horizontal thrust for since the horizontal thrust is acting in the clockwise direction it should be positive and the distance is 4 after the calculation for VA we will get 40 kN alternatively we can take moment about C and find VA for that we have to know this distance let us take this portion let us keep this point as C dash let us find this distance for the length of 20 the height is 4 so for 20 it is 4 but we need the height at the distance of 4 so we have to multiply this with 4 so this distance is 4 upon 20 into 4 10.8 minus this distance we will get cc dash which is 10 now let us take a moment about to C and find VA. VA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 4. So for VA, the horizontal thrust is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be negative. Just before we have found this height that is 10. Finally for VA, we will get 40 kN. Now let us apply the rule sigma v is equal to 0 and find vb. va and vb are acting upwards so both of them are positive. These four loads are acting downwards so all four of them are negative. Finally for vb we will get 52 kN. Now we are going to find the length of the cable. For that we need to find these heights. We have named this point as C dash. Let us name this point as D dash, this point as E dash and this point as F dash. We have already found C C dash which is 10 meter. Now let us find D D dash. Let us find this height for the length of 20. The height is 4. So for 20 it is 4 but we need the height at the distance of 8 so we have to multiply with 8. So this height is 4 upon 20 into 8 16.6 minus this height we will get DD dash which is 15 meter. Let us find EE dash for that we have to find this height for 20 the height is 4 but we need the height at the distance of 12 so this height is 4 upon 20 into 12 18 upon 4 minus this height we will get ee dash which is 16 meter in the similar way we can find ff dash which is 9 meter let us make a horizontal line from the point f and let us make a vertical line from the point b let us name this point as B dash. Let us find BB dash. For that we have to add this 4 and FF dash which is 9. 4 plus 9 we will get 13. Now we are going to find the length of the cable. First let us find the length of AC. Let us take this triangle. In this triangle let us apply Pythagoras theorem. AC should be equal to root of 4 square plus 10 square. Now let us find length of CD. For that we have to take this triangle. We need to find this height 15 minus 10. We will get 5. That is the height. Then applying Pythagoras theorem we will get CD. 
Now let us find lambda for DE. For that we have to take this triangle. We need to find this height 16 minus 15. We will get the height that will be 1. Then using Pythagoras theorem we can find DE. Now let us find lambda of EF. For that we have to take this triangle. In this triangle we have to find this height 16 minus 9 we will get 7 then we can easily find EF now let us find length of FB for that we have to take this triangle then using Pythagoras theorem we can find FB now let us find the total length of the cable for that we have to add all of these after adding, we will get 42.96 meter. Now we are going to find the tension in all of the segments. We know that for all of the segments, the horizontal component will be equal to the horizontal thrust 16. Only we have to find the vertical component. For AC, the vertical component is the vertical reaction 40. For CD, it is 40 minus 20, so that we will get 20. For DE, it is 40 minus 20 minus 16, so that we will get 4. For EF, it will be 40 minus 20 minus 16 minus 32, we will get minus 28. Then for FB, it is minus 52. Then using this formula we can find the tension in all of the segments. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.